Hey, it's Mike coming to you from PinOaksFarm.com. Just wanted to do a real quick video update on our water tank system. Uh, as you can see, we're still inside the, uh, the shop for the winter. You know, we're living in an RV while we build our house. So our water system uh, is a gravity feed system. So this tank is, uh, it's like 275 gallon. Um, so it's, you know, it's approaching 3,000 pounds when it's full. Uh, without having a loader tractor yet or any, any way to lift it up on the stand, we have to just rely on uh, brute force. Uh, we have to use a come along and drag it up on there out of my truck. So, as you can imagine, that's, uh, that's just dead weight and it's, it's extremely tough to, uh, to do. But this, this tank, I've got this stand here built to where it's almost 10 inches higher than the inlet on the camper. So it gravity feeds really nicely, uh, no pump needed. This gravity feeds real nice, but uh, this tank frame was really taking a beat and dragging this out of my truck up on here. So you can see how it's all bent up. So I needed a way to to make it to where I don't have to pull directly off of that framework. So what I done is I built a sled. I had to get water last night, so I built a sled real quick out of treated two by eights, and then the top plate is a treated two by six, one on each end. The front. Here I've bolted and I've took a, a fairly heavy chain stock that I had laying around and bolted right to each uh, sled stand so that I'm pulling directly off of these uh, main sled bars and off of the bolts so uh, it'll stand up and hold. Now I don't have this fastened to the sled itself. There's really no need to because when this is full of water, it's sitting right down there, and trust me, it don't move one bit uh, with all that weight. The back one, I've just uh, I've just screwed it because it's I'm not pulling directly off of it, so it's just basically sandwiching the, uh, the tank in there. But it worked really nicely. The only problem I had was the stand itself tried to move, uh, slide with me when I pulled, and all I did was uh, fastened it to my truck so that it uh, wouldn't move and then it worked really nice so uh, I've got a friend that has suggested that we do a, a track a roller track system on here so it's like a conveyor track I have an old business that he's got and we're going to do that so once I do that uh, I'm pretty sure that roller system those rollers will work really slick so uh, what I'll do is I'll do an update video I'll share that with you but until then I want to share this in case maybe you've got something like this going on and Needed some ideas. All right, it works real good. I'll see you in the next video. Make it a great day.